guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And I am so excited to share today's video with you because it is the end of August and we at Sensi are officially moving in to the fall and winter catalog tomorrow, September 1st. Now, fall and winter is my favorite time of year. I love the warm, the warm. I love the warm fragrances. I don't love the warm weather, but I love pumpkins and apples and warm spices and cranberry and all of that. And this catalog is going to be full of them. Now, Previously, Sensi launched their fall winter catalog in August, but this year we're launching it in September, so it's a little bit closer to the season, and I think that boosted anticipation a lot. I think everybody was really excited, and let me tell you, there are some incredible scents coming. I do have all 10 of the new releases to share with you. I've had them for a while. I haven't melted them because I wanted to share with you guys what I thought on cold. I also have the Harvest Collection, which is also launching tomorrow, September 1st, and the Scent and Warmer of the Month, also launching September 1st. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, maybe your glass of wine, or just some water. And let's sit down, sniff these new scents with you. I'll tell you what I think. And again, they will be available starting at midnight Pacific or 3 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, September 1st. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is I am going in with Harvest first, mainly because Harvest is probably going to be the first to sell out. People love Sensi's Harvest Collection. And pardon me, I'm just pulling up the scent notes here. But the set, the Harvest Collection sells out every year. People love the Harvest Collection. I love the Harvest Collection. And the other things will be around for the next six months. These will not. So let's talk about first sniffs. And without further ado, let's get into it. There is so much new and returning launching with this Harvest Collection. We have the Fall Fairy Tale Warmer, which I do have and love. They're coming out with it in a mini warmer. There is a retro white truck. There is a Disney. Let me see if I can just show you here casually. There is a Disney warmer. There is the Fall Pumpkin Warmer. There's the Sugar Skull Warmer, the truck, the um, basket weave pumpkin. There's like Halloween. So we have like these bats, the jack-o'-lantern standing in the corner with a witch's hat. Such cute stuff. I cannot wait. I'm probably going to order all the warmers because fall is my favorite time of year. Anyway, let's dive into the bars. The first bar that we have in the Harvest Collection is Forever Fall. Now, I will say, in previous years, the Harvest Collection was three cents. This year, it's five, which is exciting. Now, you could either purchase them individually, you could bundle and save them. So, individually, a bar is six dollars. You can do a bundle and save and get six bars for thirty dollars. So, it's buy five, get one free. Or, you can get all five of these bars with a little gift bag for 25. So lots of different options for you for the Harvest Collection this year. But anyway, we have Forever Fall, and this is Baked Pumpkin Cinnamon Stick and Brown Sugar. Oh, I love this. This is a really rich, decadent pumpkin. With the cinnamon and the brown sugar, I almost get like a butteriness to it too. If you like those rich, warm, pumpkin spice bakery scents, you have got to pick this one up. It is warm. It is spicy. The pumpkin in it is not like overly cinnamon. I mean, there is cinnamon stick in it, but to me, they're just balanced so pretty. This is like walking into a Hobby Lobby versus like walking into like a Michaels or something like that because Michaels to me is like that overwhelming cinnamon where when you go to Hobby Lobby it's like that warm comforting pumpkin. Next we have Fall Into Love and this is Fresh Orange Peel Cool Eucalyptus and Sweet Balsam. Now when I first read these notes I was like it sounds a little bit Christmassy with like the eucalyptus and the balsam. It's definitely my least favorite out of all of these. It is fresh. You do get the eucalyptus. It does lean like spa vibes. But I think with the balsam and the orange peel, you get a lot of 
like the fresh citrus notes. For me, last year's Wild for Fall, I actually preferred, and I did not think I would like that because it was like a super balsamy, strong pine scent. I actually added that to my club. But this is just very strong on the eucalyptus. So if you like those eucalyptus spa-like notes, I think you might really like this. This for me will be a bedroom melt. Now, I think my favorite out of all of these is the White Pumpkin Driftwood. I love this one. White Pumpkin Driftwood, White Cardamom, and Warm Solar Amber. This is so pretty. It's rich, it's warm from that pumpkin and the driftwood. The cardamom and the amber make this a little bit of like a masculine cologne vibe. This is so pretty. To me, again, I think this is like a bedroom. This could also be like a very warm, cool fall night fragrance, like a warm fragrance on a cool fall night in your living room, cozy it up with a fun movie. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I really love this. It's so nice. Mm. If you like, like, cologne more masculine scents, I think you will enjoy that one. Then we have Dutch Apple Bread right here. And this is fresh sliced apples, warm cinnamon, rolled oats, and brown sugar. Oh. See, I smell this every time. And I was definitely expecting, like, a warm bready note. There's definitely not... It's more of like an apple crumble. So like think of if you go to a restaurant or homemade apple crumble where that warm, just rich brown sugar crumble is on top with the oats, your sliced apples. This is really nice. I think this will mix really well with a lot of bakery, a lot of pumpkin, a lot of vanilla. Almost to me, I think Dutch apple bread and like fried ice cream or vanilla buttercream would blend really well together personally because the apple and the oats adding that vanilla ice cream is like an apple pie a la mode almost yeah i i definitely want to give that a try this is really yummy and then last but not least we have cashmere leaves also from the harvest collection and this is apples falling leaves and cashmere spice this is pretty this is definitely more conceptual like when I smell this, I wouldn't necessarily think, oh yeah, that's like an apple fall scent. Because I think the cashmere is such like a comforting note when it comes to wax. Cashmere and corduroy, cozy cashmere, fluffy fleece. Those like really warm textural fragrances that are supposed to re resemble like fabrics and such really make them more complex. Mix with the apple and the spice with the earthy outdoorsiness of the falling leaves. It's really pretty. I really like it. I really like it. I would think, my, like I said, my least favorite is Fall Into Love, then Dutch Apple Bread, then Cashmere Leaves, then F Forever Fall, and then White Pumpkin Driftwood. So I'm really excited for these. Again, fall is my favorite time of year i already have the fall fairy tale warmer so i think i'm going to get the harvest bounty which is like the quilted pumpkin the retro white pumpkin and the bat warmer and then the witch o lantern which are the two pumpkins stacked on top of each other with the witch's hat i think they're so cute but anyway i'm really excited the color palette on these two as i drop them is really really pretty so i'm excited for the Harvest Collection. Now, let's talk about the scent and warmer of the month. Every year, Scentsy decides that they are going to come out with a warmer and a scent of the month, which is offered at a 10% discount that you are able to use for the entire month of September. Now, they are available for a limited time only, and if that warmer and that scent is still available after September, they will be offered at... Um, full price. Do you see? Oh my gosh. I can't get over it. The warmer of the month is called Wicked Cute. Now, take a look at this. I am a fall and Halloween person through and through, and this warmer is nothing short of amazing. Now, this is called Wicked Cute, available starting September 1st for $58.50, 
after September 1st, if this is still available, it'll go up to $65. Now, the description reads, with dangly cloth legs, this witchy gnome is too cute to spook. A vent in the back of her boo tiful hat helps release the fragrance of your choice. So, this is an element warmer, which if you've ever seen an element warmer from Scentsy, they're just a hot plate warmer. So you add your cubes of wax. I would probably only add two cubes of wax to this warmer. I wouldn't go crazy with it. And then you flip the switch. Because there is no light bulb, there is an indicator light on the back, which will let you know that the warmer is on. And then you have her nose, her little holding the pumpkin and her broom. And like, look at even the detail on the broom. Like, so cute. And then you have her witch's hat with the vent holes. Can you see that in the back there that you stick on there? And then it will release that fragrance into your air. And she's sitting there with her little cloth dangly legs. I have these little blocks. I don't have any over here, but I get them at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They kind of look like three stacked books. And I have one that says like potions and witches brew. And I'm going to sit her on the on the blocks and having her legs dangle down. I just think it's gonna be so cute for Halloween, so whimsical and fun and fits the obviously black and orange theme of Halloween, goes with the other Halloween warmers. I, I just think it is so fun and so festive. So this will be available starting September 1st and now the scent of the month because every warmer of the month needs a scent of the month and the scent is frosted cinnamon roll now spoiler alert to my empties video i already melted an entire bar i actually still have it going in here i love it i love it all right an irresistible blend of powdered cinnamon and a pinch of sweet clove topped with a gooey layer of whipped vanilla sugar now i've read a lot of things watched a lot of videos I agree with people when they say it reminds them of pumpkin cinnamon swirl, but enhanced on the vanilla. I totally get that. If you're familiar with pumpkin cinnamon swirl, which is launching again, starting tomorrow, permanently in the catalog, uh, it is like cinnamon, sugar, spice, a little bit of that clove that adds that extra warmth, that extra fall bakery spice and then a ton of vanilla. And when I melt this, the vanilla really comes out and it's almost like that Cinnabon with that rich, gooey, sugary glaze. This, if you're a bakery lover, I know Scentsy is not offering as many bakery scents as we would like in the catalog this year. Check out Frosted Cinnamon Roll. Again, it will be available the entire month of September. Typically they last a few months after, like, we have, well, these are not going to, but like these are the previous scent and warmer of the months. But yeah, this is so pretty. Really good, really decadent bakery scent. Definitely snag a bar or two, add it to your club. I'm gonna still play around with it. I might add it to my club. I wish it was a tad stronger. So that is my only gripe with it. But I'm thinking about mixing with other things. But other than that, it is really pretty. I really enjoy it. And again, if you like like cinnamon sugar bakery fragrances, definitely check out the Frosted Cinnamon Roll. I do not think you'll be disappointed. All right. Now we have the 10 new release bars that are coming tomorrow for the catalog for the next six months. These are our new scents. I feel like the new scents get hype during the first month of September or the first month of the catalog, and then they're gone because there's so many LTOs. But let me tell you, these rock. There's a few that I'm not the biggest fan of, but for the most part, I'm loving the new fragrance launches. So let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. Let's get sniffing these 10 new release bars. Now, I am very familiar with how all of these smell. I've been smelling them for the last couple weeks now. I am going to start with my least favorite and work my way up to my favorite. My least favorite, Frosty Air. Now, it's my least favorite for a few reasons. The description reads, Sweet Citrus and Lily of the Valley stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. Oh, I just don't like it. It's definitely laundry. It has that same frosty note that Frosted Vanilla had last year that I also couldn't stand. I don't know if the way Scentsy makes that Frosty Air fragrance note that just doesn't vibe with me. 
but I do not care for it. Again, this is cold sniff. I have not melted these yet. And yeah, it just, the it's like sort of like a fresh laundry, but then the more I smell it, that frosty air note that has frosty, frosted vanilla that I just do not care for. So frosty air is coming soon. Next, mm, red currant wreath. Now this one is red currant and winter berries, spice up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood branches. It just smells like a very generic, like, cinnamon berry Christmas fragrance. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of uniqueness in this, which is okay. People like, like, the same old, same old sometimes. And it's just not my favorite. I don't enjoy it as much. It's nice. I will melt it. It'll be a nice, festive, like, berry, like, pine fragrance. But I feel like there's nothing here that's setting it apart from the other fragrances. Like, if I had to choose, I really like Christmas Cottage from Scentsy. I would melt Christmas Cottage over this any day. All right. Next, we have Midnight Mahogany. And this one reads, Juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. This is nice. I almost lost it again. This is nice. It's just to me like this does not smell like a like a like a fall winter fragrance. I could see fall, I guess, because it is warm and comforting. It's definitely masculine. I feel like if you didn't read that there was plum in there, you wouldn't realize it. But now that I know there's plum, I can detect it. But it's just an interesting choice of like plum, cinnamon, and mahogany. It's it's just not a favorite. Yeah, it's just not a favorite. I enjoy it. I'll melt it. I think this will be a nice, like, end-of-the-night bedroom scent. But not a favorite. Next, we have Fall Feelin'. Now, this is fresh blood orange and sugared cranberry cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. Mm. This definitely smells a lot like leaves from Bath & Body Works. And... I enjoy leaves from Bath & Body Works, but to me, it's like a one candle a season and then I'm done. I do really enjoy it. I crave it. I'm like, I cannot wait to burn leaves. And then I do, and I'm like, I'm over it. Like, it's like an, a warm, mulled apple cider. And I think what captures this is that sparkling clove. So you're going to get more of like an effervescence to it. Almost like, like a clove cider. With the cranberry, the orange, and the juniper which gives it that like outdoorsy, crisp, fresh autumn day fragrance. Yeah, if you like leaves from Bath & Body Works, I think you will love fall feeling. It is definitely like that apple cider cranberry note. Next, we have Frosted Cedar. Now, I love cedar wood fragrances, so I was very excited about this one. Red Delicious Apple adorns towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. Where's the cedar? To me, this is like a, just an apple vanilla. Like, I totally get apple, and I totally get vanilla. But if you told me there was cedar wood in here, I'd have to really sit here for a few minutes with my nose to dive deep to get the cedar wood fragrance. It's a very pretty fragrance. It's very pretty. I just think it's interesting that apple is the highlight note in this and that's what you smell the most of i was really wanting to smell all of the other fragrance notes and i'm just not getting it so for that it's not scoring higher but for what it is i really enjoy it it's very pleasant so hopefully when i melt it which i think this will also be a bedroom melt i will enjoy and i will get the cedar wood a little bit more all right Next, we have Make Me Snickerdoodle. And this I was the most excited about before reading or before having these, just reading the set notes. Homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon and baked to perfection. Um, I actually added um, St. Nickerdoodle to my club, but it's like quarterly, so it won't ship until this month. So I haven't smelled it yet. Uh, but this, 
it's just like missing the cookie note to me. And I get it says homemade cookie dough. So it's not a baked cookie. It's like an unfinished cookie. There's just something that falls flat to me in this. Like, I was expecting a lot, a lot, a lot more. And if I had to pick a bakery scent out of all these new releases, it would be Frosted Cinnamon Roll, Dutch Apple Bread, and then this Make Me Snickerdoodle. It's just not as great as I was hoping it would be. I was expecting, like, a really crisp cinnamon sugar cookie. And it's definitely more brown sugar dough than cinnamon sugar cookie. So... For that, that's where it got placed. Now these, I love these four. I love these four. Now the one, I feel like people are not loving it as much as I thought they would. Cranberry and cardamom. I love cranberry fragrances. I love cranberry fragrances. And this really surprised me. Bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. This smells like a delicious cranberry jam. Like a holiday cranberry jam. I love this. I do pick up on the cherry, and I am not a cherry person whatsoever. I don't love cherry fragrances, but I think Scentsy does cherry really well because they're blended with so many other things. And this is no exception. You get that real bright cherry, and you get white cranberry. It's not that red, deep cranberry, like the color of the wax. And the cardamom just rounds it out and adds this very warm, comforting note to it. Like a warm cranberry relish. I love this. I think it is so delicious. I cannot wait to melt this. Next, we have Golden Garland. Now, I was a big Scarlet Sunflower fan last year, so I knew I was going to like this. Forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals, sparkling orange twist, and a touch of golden musk. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Um, you do get the pine needle, which I typically am not a fan of pine fragrances, but this blended with the marigold, blended with the orange. It is so pretty. And I know this might seem a little, um, okay. I kind of want to blend this with Scarlet Sunflower and see how they do. Because sunflowers, marigolds, all those, and plus I'm obsessed with mustard color. And I love this mustard colored wax. Love it so much. Oh, this is so pretty. This is definitely like your fall floral fragrance. But I also really do enjoy florals. So this is like your fall floral scent this year. And I think... It'll smell so good on a crisp fall day when the windows are open and it just really freshens the air. So really enjoy that. Next, Palo Santo and Cinnamon. Now I was also the type that did not enjoy Sensi's Palo Santo straight up. It smelled like black pepper to me, was not a fan. So I was very nervous about this. They hit it out of the park. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. I love this, and I think it's also nostalgic reasons. This reminds me of Yankee Candle's Treehouse Memories candle. It was from a couple years ago, and it launched in their fall collection. And to me, it smells like the aftershave my grandfather wore. And I remember that scent super distinctly, distinct, distinctively. And that's exactly what this smells like. So it's super nostalgic for me. It smells just like his aftershave. I don't know what he used, but it smells just like an older gentleman's aftershave. It's beautiful. I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I cannot wait to melt this. And then last but not least, my favorite bar from this fall and winter release, Dashing. This is so pretty. Irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. This is so pretty. This is vanilla forward and a very, very creamy vanilla. This is so good. This is so pretty. It's warm. It's comforting. But the fresh night skies really rounds it out, really brings some depth. I mean, again, I think the color solidifies that this is like a bedroom melt. Oh, I can picture fresh sheets, good movie, curling into bed 
with this melting, that vanilla just surrounding you, wrapping you up in comfort. And the mahogany is like that sexy man fragrance. And I want to say the reason I think it's called dashing. Of course, at first I thought like dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. But I think it's dashing, meaning like a very handsome, well-dressed gentleman. With the notes, it makes sense. Dashing. He's dashing. That's how I feel. And it's so pretty. I love it. I cannot wait to melt this. I might get a six pack just of this because it is heavenly and I cannot wait to start melting this. So again, let's recap. We have the Harvest Collection. We have the Scent and Warmer of the Month. We have a brand new catalog full of warmers and scents and all the things and the 10 new releases launching tomorrow, September 1st at 3 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, I will be up placing an order. I will leave the link down below to my Scentsy website. If you want to place an order and support my Scentsy business, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.